Welcome back to day seven of the triple silver cell refining series here. We've got 2.4 amps going through the beast. Number two's got, uh, what is that, 1.4 amps. Number one has 2.2 amps. And each one of these cells is warm to the touch. And today is a rather chilly day. It's only about 50 degrees out, 10 degrees Celsius is the ambient temperature. So all these cells have a little bit of heat going on with a good amount of current flow through those cells. This is cell number one, and it's only been a little less than 24 hours since I filled that anode basket up. And here's the current flow, it's right up there. So it's really going through the impure silver shot here very quickly. And if you notice, my electrode bar is down low in that filter and it's coming in contact with the edge of the electrolyte soaked filter bag. And that will cause that anode electrode bar to dissolve. We filled the anode basket on number one about uh, noon yesterday and it's probably 9 a.m. right now. So what we're gonna do is fill this anode basket up with some impure silver. And we're going to weigh the amount that we add in. And that should give us a rough idea of how much silver was consumed in the anode basket. That was about 182 grams of impure silver to get us back filled up. So we can safely conclude that that probably was the amount of silver that was consumed out of that anode bag in 21 hours. Do the same thing for cell number two. This one probably is not gonna take as much because the current flow is much lower on cell number two. There's the current flow, as opposed to cell one. Cell one is a full amp higher than cell two. So it's the uh, current flow that does the work. So this is 62 grams. We're gonna add this into the anode filter for silver cell number two. Here's the current flow after we add the impure silver to the anode filter. Current flow on the beast is uh, 2.4 amps. If you look down in here, we've consumed a little bit of the silver out of there. Let's go ahead and pull the anode electrode bar out of the way. You can see that the uh, electrolyte is peeking through the impure silver shot. That liquid right there is the electrolyte from the inside of the silver cell. And so what we're going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of silver. This is from the uh, anode filter basket that we replaced a while back. It still has some decent silver in it, so I'm going to pour this in. And now what we'll do is add some impure silver from the uh, shot that we have in our container up here. I'm going to add the big hunks from our container to the beast anode filter basket because it does a better job. I can fit more in there in the uh, in this anode filter basket. So I put the big chunks of impure silver in here. The anode electrode bar back on here. 
and I leave the uh, sacrificial bars off of there until this silver gets consumed and the level drops and we start coming in contact with that electrolyte to prevent our anode electro bar from dissolving. But for right now with this impure silver that I just added, it's far enough out of the electrolyte that we don't have to worry about the anode electro bar getting dissolved. Here's our current flow through the beast, 2.3 amps, which is respectable for this size of silver cell. We're gonna look down in here and see what we've got. This is seven days worth of growth. Holy cow, look at that, man. That is incredible. I can tell that the beast is low on electrolyte. So I'm gonna add some in here. And now we'll stir this up. Okay, we've got fresh electrolyte added. So we got the electrolyte level up where it needs to be. This is day seven. There should be about 70 troy ounces of high purity silver inside the uh, cathode bowl for the beast. Here's the current flow for cell number two. Let's get down in here and see what we got going on inside this one. Nice. Obviously not as much current or uh, silver growth in here as in the beast. Day seven at five troy ounces per day. We should be looking at about 35 troy ounces in cell number two. I'm gonna add just a smidge of electrolyte to cell number two. I can see the silver kind of peeking up out of the electrolyte around the edge of the bowl here. Add a little bit in there. Give this a stir. And that should complete the maintenance for silver cell number two. Let's look down in cell number one. Let's see what we got going on in here. Oh yeah, you can see the higher conductivity, higher current flow. And cell number one is cranking out some decent pure silver crystals here. So I'm going to give this just a touch of electrolyte. And now I'll stir it up. And the current flow on cell number one, right around 2.4. Here you can see we've consumed a lot of the uh, impure silver shot that we had melted up. It's still right much there, but we started with eight and a half kilos and probably got about three kilos left in here, maybe. And uh, that will conclude the uh, maintenance for day seven of the triple electrolytic silver cell refining series of videos. I'd like to thank everybody for watching.